Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellen Kareem Trent, and today we're working on really simple and easy fall postcards. These are really simple and easy to do. Um, one's a little bit more loose in this one than this one, and I just show you how to do it. Just moving, moving the paint around with a couple of brushes. It's really simple. You guys can totally do this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. And check out my Patreon on Thursdays. I have exclusive tutorials over there. Um, it's just a place where people can support my channel, which I appreciate so much. And uh, I have exclusive tutorials and some downloads there weekly on Thursdays. And also my amazing art channel, which is a, my I paint like acrylic channels with palette knives and brushes. And that is in the description box and on the about page. So let's get started. Okay, for this exercise, I'm going to start to go over my um, supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, it's a 4 by 6 inch piece I've made, so that's postcard size. I taped it down with um, scotch tape. I have some paints here that I'll be using. Uh, Holbein Van Dyke Brown, Permanent Elizabethan Crimson, Brilliant Orange, Peacock Blue, and of course Cadmium Yellow Deep right there. Water jars, paper towels, and I'll go with my brushes as I use them. I might start off using the Grumbacker 10. So I kind of like roughed in. Um, I want a tree over here to the left. And I have some foliage down in the bottom. I'm going to have like a little water here. Just kind of like playing around with um, a postcard, like an easy postcard. So we could start by doing the foliage and then adding in the blues. I don't know if you want to do the blues the sky first. We could do that, but we have to put a really light one in because when the foliage, the yellow tones go on top of it, it could turn more green. So we just take our Grumbacker brush and I could just wet this top half here. So three quarters of the way up. It's got little pink tones on my brush. Just like one quarter of, goodness gracious, it has my color on it. So just get this wet on this top half area here one fourth down and we'll wash in a blue color not too much so I have that peacock blue it's a pretty blue I'm just gonna wash in a little bit up in here not too much it's gonna dry lighter which is nice just a little bit up there um, if you wanted to easily go down you kind of lift your I also I'll tape this down on a piece of cardboard you can just lift it up like this and it starts to bleed downward just like that and we'll go down there nicely and we're going to add a little bit of some like pink sunset kind of tone so I've got that crimson but a little more on the blushy side and I'll add a little of this yellow here See a little pinky yellow. I'm gonna water it down a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little more pink in there. Orangey pink. A little more yellow. Alright, so I got the tone I want. Just gonna add a little bit of that in here. Gonna clean up my brush. Gonna put a little more yellow in there. Just gonna go across a little bit here. So you got this pale, pale pinkish tone, and it will bleed upward a little bit while the blue is bleeding down. There you go. While that is gonna be drying, you can add a touch, a little bit of yellow in here. Just play around with like the sunset. So imagine just a little bit of yellow in the middle there. I'm going to be adding, I'm going to have water in here. So I'm going to be adding some of that blue with some of the other light tones again. Just playing around. We don't have to be perfect with our stuff. So again, have the blue. And I'm going to add some deeper tones to this one. So I might take some of that Van Dyke Brown, put a little of that in there. I know it doesn't make sense, but it will. A little of this crimson, 
a little more blue. You're getting this deeper tone. You can throw in some of this olive green that I have. And I've got this peacock blue up here. I can add a little bit of Van Dyke brown to that. Oops, a little of the crimson, more peacock blue. It's kind of like a grayish purple. I'm going to add that blue. It comes deeper. I got deeper blue. So you know, I'm just going to add that across the lines. And then you can go back over with the peacock. Get a little brighter in there. You don't have to be perfect like what I'm doing. You just throw in some blues. See, I'm just throwing in blues. I'm not even making sense of this, but I'm just throwing blues in. I'm having fun. So I want you guys to do it. If I think it's too bright, you just lift up some of the color, just like I'm doing with the brush, and then putting on your paper towel. Okay, so we're going to let that go. Now I'm going to work on some wet on wet foliage down here. And if it bleeds a little bit up into the to the ocean part, don't worry about it. So, I'm going to grab some of this yellow. I'm going to get that brilliant orange, which is such a bright color. Well, maybe a little too intense for the foliage we're going to do. I can add some of that crimson to that. A little bit brown. We'll just dull it down. And I got this yellow. And let's loosen up some of this brown here too. And some of the green. We're going to play around with all these colors. I didn't mention that I'm using olive green gouache. Just like watercolor. So that's how you can use gouache as well. All right. So we're going to play around with just putting in some foliage down here. I'm going to tap in some water. My water is a little dirty, but that's okay. Just tapping in some water like this. See, I'm just tapping it in. Da, 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 da. And then we're going to start bleeding in some color. So we do some green. See, I'm still tapping in some greenery. This is just a loose, fun postcard. So I'm tapping in all this greenery. Right? And as I'm doing that, I'll go and grab some yellows. And just see, I'm just tapping with my brush. Tap, 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 tap. I want this loose and fun. This doesn't have to be serious. Like I said, there's a, a cartoon my kids used to watch, um, Wonder Pets, and the little pet had a lisp and it said, This is serious. <laughs> this is serious. So. Don't be so serious. So you're just playing around with the foliage. If you want to put some red in there, grab some of that crimson. I'll add a little Van Dyke brown. Gets this nice deep, deep red. You can throw a little of that in there. From the green and then the browns. Clean off my brush. I'm just going to go and grab some more of this yellow. So you're just tapping in color here. Some green. It's not supposed to be perfect. See, I'm just playing around with putting in the color. See that? Just grabbing my brush and different colored paints that are autumn colors and just throwing them around. Can throw a little bright orange in here. You can add some deeper greens too, like I grabbed some of that peacock with that green. Some nice deep greens in here. Just supposed to be loose and fun. We're not going for this intense, serious foliage. Gonna add a little more orange. I like leaving a little white spaces, it makes it look even more loose. A little more brown over in here. Like the tree is gonna go up in here, so and it's gonna be like a dark brown, so it doesn't matter if you're painting these light colors right now and you just paint right over it. See, I'm kind of liking how this blends in here. I want you guys to play around with just adding color. 
brown. You can get really dark if you want. A little bit, add a little darker tones. Get real dark down here if you want to. That's in that red. Some of that brown. Just tapping on color. Again, tap in some more of this brown in here and the green. It's like the foliage overlooking like the lake. Whoa. I think this is it's pretty dry. We can start working on the foliage up there too. And again, just keep playing around with adding some color in here. Got some more of this yellow, some more orange. It's getting a little muddy, so I'm gonna clean up my brush. Grab some of this orange. I like the bright orange thrown in here. Some of that yellow. The less water, the more intense that yellow will be, so I'm just gonna throw in some of that like right up in here. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much got what I want. So up here, it's gonna be a tree and you're gonna to wanna to see some of the blue. So you don't wanna to go too crazy. So I'm gonna grab these colors and you start just making this foliage, you know, loosely. We'll be adding in branches and whatnot in a bit. So just making this foliage, you still wanna see some of the blue. You don't wanna cover all the blue, see? And it's only gonna be kind of like right here, right in this upper, quadrant coming over here a little bit. See a little bit of the orange. Throw in a little bit of the green. Just like that. Keep adding orange and yellow. See I'm just tapping this in. So it looks like leaves. Don't worry if you have like a blob like this. That looks good too. You can just go in that. Add a little leak and a little touch of browns here and there too. You know, foliage is changing, so it's not this solid yellow, this solid orange. See, I'm just tapping on these colors. It's just so much fun. You guys can totally do this. Anybody could do this. I'm going to put a little more down here. What I didn't do here is in that white section here, I'm going to add in some of this green mountain. So let's do that now before I get this craziness going here. So I'm going to add some green, a little bit of this blue. So put some green mountainish going across like that. Grab some of that peacock, a little bit of that crimson. You want a little more brown tones. Oh, you just grabbed the Van Vandyke brown. So you get it darker. And then get even darker. Coming down here. I can just grab some of that crimson. So we got these deep green mountains. Right? We're going to go back and hit our foliage again. Be careful not to hit this part because it's wet and it's going to obviously bleed to it. So we'll have to work around that one for now. Again, I'm adding in all my foliage, yellow with some greens, grab some greens. Throw those in too. It's like changing the yellow. Just like this. Whoa. So what we're going to be doing is putting a tree up in here. I'd like a brown tree. So I got my brown. I got up some more Van Dyke brown. And crimson. Like a reddish brown. 
could have a little more blue for that. Playing around with my Van Dyke Brown. We're going to put this tree just going up in here. I still want it more like blackish brown, so I'm going to add some of this blue. Now you might want to wait till this stuff is all dry before you go ahead and push this on top of that. See, mine's bleeding a little bit. And sometimes I like the way that looks. So I got that tree, putting in some branches. See that? I'm going to have some skinny ones coming off that. It might bleed a little bit because it's still wet. So you might want it, like I said, wait till it dries. Grabbing a little bit of black and throwing it in this brown. And I'm going to take a thinner brush, this Princeton long round brush that I have because it has a nice point to it. Actually, I have a newer one. And then you grab dark brown, blackish brown, and you make little teeny branches. It's not cooperating. Okay. The little teeny branches coming off the tree. So you make a little skinny ones. And there'll be some other ones coming up from here. Another thing is just don't go straight across, kind of like see how I broke it up a little bit. Got another branch coming from here. And breaking up the branches and not having it totally connect. really skinny ones on the bottom there. So that, if you want to add some even black to this brown, make it really dark, go ahead and do that. But that's really simple. And like I said, you can go in and add some more of the foliage. Get some more of this yellow orange. Boop, boop, boop. Play around with adding in more of that. A little more orange than yellow. And even small, little teeny, like little teeny leaves coming off. See, on the tip of my brush of the Princeton 8. I do really small ones. Have a lot of fun with this. This is uh, so simple, but cute, right? And you can go back in down here with these kind of bled, and you can go in and add some more deeper tones. That didn't happen because it just bled. Some darker green, some browns, even a little bit of red. See, throwing a little red in here. This feels like a nice fall, crispy day. You want to put in a couple of little gray clouds. Just mix up some light gray. Really pale. Just do some pale clouds. See, I'm just washing in. Just, just these little, see, I push the belly down to the brush. And the little lines. And we have the clouds. A little darker gray here. It's just that simple. And then the blue look kind of flat. So I'll clean up this green. Let me 
zoom in a little bit better so you can see. So this looks like a little uh, meh, meh, as I would call it. I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. So I have the peacock blue. might add a little black to that. Oh, gray. I'll just throw in some of this bright blue. Maybe over here too because there's a leak kind of over here. Just these little lines going across just to brighten up that blue. Right? And then again, over in here, just play around with, like the colors and textures how you want. You can throw in some, you know, some like wispy spikes of branches and whatnot coming in here. Change it up. Whatever you feel like. See, I'm putting in some like graspy, graspy, <laughs> grass kind of wheat kind of looking things. Just playing around with adding tones and texture and color. Go back in and add some more yellow. That's pretty much kind of how we're going to do this. I think that looks good. Don't want to overdo it too much. Just a simple fall postcard. And like I said, you can go back in here if you want to add some more tones. Little teeny leaves. But don't go too crazy. You know? When you peel that up, what she got? Simple postcard. Right? Whoops. It's gone run away. See, that was cute. I meant to do two cards, but you know, I don't want to make you guys paint forever. <laughs> but I thought this would be fun. Just a simple fall postcard. Um, you can give to a friend. Imagination. Gone wild. And like I said, you can you don't have to do the tree just on this side if you want to have a tree on this side. Or maybe another little tree over here. You know, play around with it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this little fun one little guy. And now we're gonna move on to a much easier one. Okay, same thing on this one. Taped on the uh, Arches 100% Cotton cold press paper. And I'm thinking I want to do like super loose where I'm not covering every part of the paper and we're going to be more sporadic with our stuff. So I'm going to do like a simple tree and some foliage. And I'm just going to grab some of this brown, a little bit of gray. And I'm just going to wash in like, just paint in like a little tree trunk, the tree. So we're going to go up here don't want to finish this whole other part. We're going to just paint in some branches like right in here. Wash down a little bit. Grab some darker gray or black. And then we're going to put in, you know, it's going to make like a tree. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you're going to have these spaces that are empty be where the foliage will be. And have the trunk come down here. I'm adding some gray. See, in the trunk are going to be this big sporadic tree. And then we can just grab some yellow. I have the cadmium yellow here and the orange like you saw before. I'm just going to throw in some of this simple wash in yellow. See, just, I'm using the Princeton 8 brush, by the way. And I'm just washing in color, like really loose. See? Woohoo! Don't have to get too crazy. And you could use what's great about this, you get the tip. You can do a little tiny little leaves like this. And then wash in with the belly. Bunch of other leaves. And get up some orange while that's wet and just bleed in some color. Just like so. And go back in and add some more branches. You know, just like that. I'm grabbing some of that gray, some black. Throwing in some black tones like that. See? Ooh, the tip of the brush. And then where we missed out here, put up some branches. If it bleeds a little bit, don't worry about it. But use the tip. See? 
Let's have fun making this tree. And now we're going to put some greenery. I've got my green paint over here. I'm just going to wash in some simple greens on the side, like up a hill. So you're just going to make this curved area. Wash in this really quickly. And then over in here, like another little hill. And this would be like kind of like a road. See, I'm just washing in some of the color. You want to put like a yellow orange bush back here. Again, just washing in color, some brown. Just see, I'm just moving the brush around this like like this, really sporadic. And I got that green. Gonna add some of that blue just to brighten up that green. That's the peacock blue. And I ran out of my Van Dyke brown. I need more of that. Well, we're just doing this really quick. Sometimes when you do things really quick, it comes out kind of really great. See, I'm adding some of that Van Dyke brown with the green, just like on the side here. I think I want a little red. Add some of this brown and some more greenery. And some more yellow. With the road part, we're going to just take our grays. We have a whatever gray you have, like a light gray, just using black and water it down, or if you're mixing all the colors and turning it gray. And we're just going to do some shadowing. Right? We just take it from the left, push the paint around, and go like that. The shadows of like the road. Kind of on one side, and then going that way. I want to get a little deeper color. I've got some blue, with some black, and some brown. And got the shadow on that road. And then take your greens. And just go around and play around with adding some color. I might add another, like another tree back here now. I kind of like to paint intuitively, as you noticed. I've done this a million times. I talk about this. So I'll grab some of my gray. And I'll throw in another tree, just like this. So just really loose, kind of, kind of hit the other one, you know, kind of like they're making like a, a bridge of blacks. And then again, I'll grab the yellow and orange colors and just wash in some foliage. I'll grab some green too. Make this one have like a little more green on it. I'm just tapping in those colors. I can have some yellow leaves on the road, like they fell down over in here. And I'm tapping in more greenery. I like it really loose. If you miss some over here, you can put some over in here. Again, get that bright yellow orange. I'm just choosing the tip of that brush and making those little teeny leaves. And at this point, we can wash in some blue color, like the sky. We've got that peacock mixed with some other colors in here. Can add a little. Just make this bright blue color. And I'm washing it down very wet, and I'll just water it in here. I mean, water. Wash it in here. I'm taking the wet on dry. I'm just going to wash in some of the blue tone. It doesn't matter if it's not filling up like the first one. We want this one a little more loose. See that? This is a loose way of painting. Go in between if you can with your brush. The leaves. Just a different way of painting. That one's a little more tight. This one's a lot more loose. As you can see. Right? Got a little blue. Like a crisp fall day. 
And then in here, you want to add some really deep, darker details. Like I have that Van Dyke Brown, mix it some blue. Get in wisp in some grasses. Going up like that. Or a few down in the front here. You know, play around with it. Like all golden, almost like wheat grass. There we go. I wasn't doing it before. It was too dry. I need to get a little bit looser. Get this brown. Just like that. Adding in this shadow color again. So you just keep playing around with adding in some of the darker tones on the trees and the little branches. Just add that little black. There we go. Tree branches going back in here. If they kind of washed out, you can just go back in and add them. And then going in and add some color in here. See, we're just playing around with being very loose with this one. Don't have to be so serious. And that shadow. So I'm going to add some more greenery around here. And some browns and some yellows. Just want to put in a loose color. And you know, that's just another way of doing a simple, loose autumn, fall foliage postcard. See, I keep playing around adding some reds and whatnot. Just have fun with it, guys. Don't get bogged down. And you see how easy that was to do the shadow? You just have keep that part mostly white, and you're just adding in just the color that goes across one side. It looks like the shadow of the road, right? Standing up so I can see. And then you can go in and add some details. You can go in the front and add little flowers if you want. You know, little daisies, whatnot. I'm adding in some bright yellow over here. And then here. You just play around with it. Take the tip of my brush, really thick paint, barely any water, and I'm just putting in this yellow. And some of it will bleed into the wet, and some will just be straight on yellow. And same thing up in here. This is so much fun. So there's our loose one. We have a serious one and a loose one. Pull this up. So I didn't hit the edge on all of it, but I hit the edge on some of it. So you've got that postcard look. Excuse me. Postcard look to, to it. Yeah. With the edge. Be a fun gift to give to somebody. So I'm gonna zoom out. And we've got our two cards. A little bit different in technique, but still fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to hit the bell notification to know when my tutorial is up. Don't forget to uh, check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials there uh, weekly. The Patreon is just uh, created for people who want to patronize my channel, which I appreciate because uh, YouTube is free and Patreon, you know, I charge a fee for my exclusive tutorials and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much. Um, have a great day.